Well, you can get there from here. This month, the Golden Triangle Regional Airport added a fourth flight to Atlanta. Now, where Stephanie Poole finds out what that means to local travelers. She joins us live in the studio. Stephanie. Before the, new flight, before the new flight, planes to Atlanta were full and even overbooked. With Delta's new round-trip flights, there's more room and more options to come and go. Golden Triangle Regional Airport saw a record number of passengers in 2018. And due to a high demand, Delta Airlines is providing a fourth flight from GTR to Atlanta. Since June 10th, all four flights have been running 85% full. Passengers like Ariane Hainsey says this means more options to fly throughout the day. It benefits me a lot. This fourth flight allowed me to fly out of here for D.C. very easily. As soon as the fourth flight was added. The more frequent you have, is, is uh, more flexible for you to have a schedule. GTR Airport Executive Director Mike Hainsey says travelers now have more connections to reach their destination quicker. People uh, can leave the, the East Coast, say, at 9 in the morning and be here at 1 in the afternoon versus waiting until 4 or 5 in the afternoon to come in. You don't have to wait for two or three hours for your connection. Now you can do it uh, on an hour, hour and a half. Hainsey says the goal for GTR Airport is to see flight occupancy grow by another 5% over the next couple of months. Flights, but we expect by October to be up, uh, once again, up over 90%. Hainsey is hopeful that this growth will benefit the airport and surrounding cities in the coming years. The important thing is that we give our industries and our businesses the opportunity both to send their people out all over the world, but to bring people in from all over the world, their customers. Hainsey says construction is still ongoing for a new terminal that will sit 200 passengers. He said it should be open by the end of July.